as soon as I got done from explaining oh. how to, to move with the body and everything, I got up and I looked around and the room was very, um, everybody was like in this weird place. And I knew I needed to get the energy level up pretty quick, but I started to talk to Bill about it. And uh, Bill had some really very interesting insight that I wanted to share with you guys. So, on what was going on. I don't know if you all felt it or not, but it's okay, let's strange. Kind of get a show of hands. Did everyone feel that shift that was taking place? It, it kind of felt like we were zipping along in the seminar, and all of a sudden it felt like we just hit a swamp, and we went, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Real slow, and th like the brain got a little foggy and fuzzy, and like, oh shit, are we gonna take a break soon? That that kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And we weren't working hard or heavy, right? But it was a, it was a real shift. So we got a good consensus that everyone was feeling that. Okay. Uh, I look at Sistema. Um, I'm been involved in body work as well for a long time, and I see everything from the approach of the nervous system. Sistema is re-educating the nervous system, teaching the nervous system how to respond appropriately to a situation without the fear. We have fear, we react too much. And if we're lazy about it, we act not enough. So we're trying to find that balance. What we're dealing with and what everyone was feeling was trauma. That's when we start working with the tension that builds up in the nervous system that causes us to go into a fight, flight, or freeze, a sympathetic nervous system response, which is like we're ready for the confrontation, or we've been in a car accident, we've fallen and slipped on the ice, or whatever the case is. The body goes into a fight, flight, or freeze response. <clears throat> the opposite response is a rest and relax, or a parasympathetic state that it goes into. When the stuff that Mark was working on, when we were rotating the spine and all the work we did in the morning was working the intrinsic muscles, the fine motor skill muscles that go to shit when the sympathetic nervous system is engaged, right? That's why you can't get your keys out of your car when you're, you're scared. It's like you can't figure out how to do that. What's happening is we started working with the nervous system directly and tapping into directly all of that stuff that's built up our entire lives. They get stuck in the nervous system and we don't know, it doesn't know how to get out. It's kind of like all the dirt that gets stuck in the cracks. And now what we were doing is kind of churning it all up and that was the feeling that the room experienced when that all played out. Because think about it, when you get into a car accident <clears throat> or something really intense happens, ah, I can't think, I don't know what to do, it's kind of fuzzy. So that whole experience was coming up for the entire room as a result of doing that rotation stuff with the spine, working that stuff out of our nervous system. Now the cool part about it is if we recognize it, recognition provides the mode for change. We know, we know how to deal with it drinking water, getting something to eat, moving around, getting outside, grounding yourself a little bit, push-ups, sit-up squats, are all ways of getting that charge out of the nervous system, but do it in a controlled way where you're breathing and relaxing and doing that. Um, it, it's also good to recognize that this is freeing up space in your body so there can be like, um, you can feel pissed off, you can feel you know, emotions that come up, pissed off, sad, angry, whatever. So I was talking to Mark about it because he was kind of like, oh, I'm not really sure what was going on and I wanted to share that with everyone so you can get a better understanding of what was taking place and how powerful Sistema is on levels that we don't always understand. So it's, it's really important, this translates to movement, is now that charges out of the nervous system, we're free. We can move without all of that junk that's stuck in the cracks of our nervous system that's in, that limits our body to be only in a, in a sympathetic state, in a fight, flight, or freeze state all the time. It's like you see Vlad move, and you're like, how does he articulate the shoulder that way? How does he move and slide the knife off of his back without hardly moving? It's because that's the capability of the body to be able to move that way that we 
at, with, with all that tension in our body are unable to do. So I wanted to, to share that with you guys. Thank you.